Okay, so you've sent us these 50 full moon journal prompts mm. from List Stallion. Mm. And we're doing something a little different this time. Right. Instead of just like running through a list. Yeah. We're going to really like deep dive into the why behind full moon journaling. Interesting. Yeah. It's um, fascinating how this practice kind of taps into both ancient wisdom and modern wellness trends. Right. Like on the one hand, yeah. you've got this very tangible tool for self-reflection, mm -hmm. which is your journal. Right. But then you're layering on this whole other dimension of like lunar energy and intention setting. Right. And that's where it gets really interesting, I think, because the full moon isn't just this like random point in time. Right. Right. It represents this culmination, this yeah. peak in the lunar cycle. Yeah. And across cultures and throughout history, it's been seen as a very powerful time for release and renewal. OK, so let's unpack that a bit. OK. We know that the moon affects tides. Mm -hmm. But how does this translate to us? Well, for centuries, humans have really lived in sync with these natural cycles. Right. The moon's phases in particular have really influenced so much. Oh, yeah. Like agricultural practices, sure. spiritual rituals, mm -hmm. even our understanding of time itself. Yes. Like think about words like lunatic. Uh -huh. It reveals this ancient association between the full moon and heightened emotions or like shifts in consciousness. Interesting. So even if you don't subscribe to like the more mystical side of things right there's this undeniable historical and cultural weight to the full moon there is and and that's what Lestallion is tapping into with these prompts yep. they're essentially giving you this framework for harnessing the symbolic energy for personal growth yeah that makes sense so how does this actually work okay. like do you have to be a lunar expert to get something out of these prompts not at all okay i think um Think of it this way. Okay. The full moon is like a built-in deadline. Okay. It creates this natural rhythm for reflection and goal setting. Like a monthly check-in with yourself. Precisely. Okay. And Lestallion's prompts offer this framework for that check-in. Hmm. They've got prompts for emotional exploration, okay. future planning relationships. Yeah. Really a whole spectrum of personal growth themes. And they really emphasize that there's no right or wrong way to journal. Yeah. But for someone who's like new to this, yeah. right. what makes a journaling prompt truly effective? That's a good question. Yeah. A good effective prompt should do a few things. Okay. First, it sparks introspection. Oh. It makes you think about your thoughts and your feelings more. Mm. Second, it helps you connect the dots. Right. So maybe revealing patterns in your behavior or uncovering hidden beliefs. So it's not just about like venting. Yeah. It's about uncovering insights that can actually lead to change. Exactly. Okay. And that's where that third element comes in. Okay. A good prompt should ultimately lead to actionable insights. Yeah. It's not enough to simply feel something, mm -hmm. but it's asking yourself, okay, now what? Right. How can I use this awareness to move forward? Okay, I'm starting to see the appeal here. Yeah. But with 50 prompts, it's easy to get overwhelmed. It, were there any that particularly stood out to you? Yeah, several. Okay. But one I found particularly powerful was reflect on a recent failure. What did it teach you? And how can you use this lesson moving forward? Interesting, because we often try to avoid thinking about failure, right? Exactly. Yeah. But this prompt encourages you to reframe it as a learning opportunity. Right. And tying that reflection to the full moon, a time of release, yeah. can be particularly potent. Powerful stuff. Now, I have to ask about this one. What does a perfect day look like for you? Right. Because who doesn't want to think about that? Yeah. Especially under a full moon. Exactly. It seems so simple. Yeah. But it's incredibly effective. It prompts you to define what truly matters. Okay. Those small joys, those meaningful connections, right. a sense of accomplishment. It's like creating this roadmap for happiness. Yeah. One perfect day at a time. Exactly. And by revisiting this prompt each month, okay. you can track how your vision evolves mm. and identify steps to make those perfect day elements a more consistent part of your life. Okay. So for you listening, if this whole full moon journaling thing peaked, your curiosity, maybe give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Even if that whole lunar connection feels a little out there, right. the prompts themselves can be really powerful tools for self-discovery. Absolutely. You might be surprised at the insights that emerge when you create that space for reflection. And who knows, you might even discover a newfound appreciation for the cycles of the moon yeah. and their influence on your own life. It's like Lestallion says, embrace the rhythm of growth. Mm. And speaking of rhythms, here's something to chew on. 
Le Stallion focuses on the moon's cycle. Right. But what about your own personal rhythms? Are there patterns in your energy, your creativity, even your relationships that follow a cycle? Yeah. It might not be lunar, right? but perhaps there's a rhythm there worth exploring until next time. Happy yeah. journaling.